Right, it's the 5th of March. It's Jane Louise's birthday today. I must send her a message on Facebook. But anyway, I'm out Kingswood, Winscombe, and I'm going to be walking up onto the uh, Waverley Down, and or Waverley Down, to Crook's Peak. When I get there, I'll decide whether to walk back to Winscombe and get the bus back, because I decided to bus today, or if the weather being okay, time being okay and I feel okay, I will walk back to Weston, or as far as I can get, before it's dark. So I've got six hours, and I'm expecting it to take me about that. So it's quite a way bit to walk back. You've got to walk all the way, um, all the way up the Crooks Peak, and then off to Loxton, and then up um, a path an arrow path to the Roman road and then you can either carry on down the Roman road to Bleeden or can you can weave in and out the beautiful fields. Right, it's March, but I can't see any sign of wild garlic. It's coming up, but it's not flowering yet. Bluebells and snowdrops, no sign at the moment. Yes, it's quite mild. I'm still dressed as if it's for winter but it is quite mild. I'm not I'm glad of that. I've been up here and I've been baking hot. I've got one large bottle of water, a packet of crisps, a piece of cheese, a jelly, um, some cake and some other bits and pieces just to keep me going. Surprise now and you get I didn't bring the jam sandwiches. But this is known as King's Wood. And somewhere up here Ian McNally's got some of his ashes scattered. I'm not sure, but it was apparently near where there was a swing hanging from some trees somewhere. But Ian was into walking and when he lived at Loxton he got well into village life. And uh this is, I always think of him as well when I come up here actually. I do think of Ian, he lived it up here. Anyway, this is just going to be a number of short videos. I've done this walk several times, but each time I spot and see something different. And I've got older and uh, life events have changed as well. For example, we got a thing called ISIS, which no one had heard of the last time I was up here. They're going round killing and slaughtering people in the Middle East, like um, Syria and Afghanistan and Libya. Um, there's, there's no way they are a religious group of people doing that. They're slaughtering people really badly, feeding their mothers are being fed their children. People are being thrown off rooftop. People are being beheaded, burnt in cages. That's the sort of thing that's going on at the moment in our awful world at the moment. You've got to come up here to recover. But the good side, my beautiful Georgia got married to her love, Harry or Melvin, in a beautiful location, St. Audrey's Bay Manor House. <sighs> Absolutely fairy tale wedding that was. And now I've got that on separate videos. I've got a beautiful camper van again since my last visit here. Good old Berta, and we went all over the country last year. Scotland, Iona, Northumberland, Cumberland, Yorkshire, Durham, everywhere, Lancashire, Buckinghamshire, Cambridgeshire, Suffolk. A big tour I had last year and I'm still s deciphering all the data and the videos and photos I did from that. I'm hoping to do the Welsh castles this year. Right, over and out for the first video of the day. <laughs> 